previously on this ridiculous YouTube channel. I need some Vaseline on me or something. <laughs> All right, I know what you're thinking. Yes, we are wearing the same clothes that we wore in the last video, but it's not because we don't wash or anything, I promise. It's because I just did the Titanic Sunday challenge in March and Mrs. Beard was not particularly impressed with my performance. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're off to do the second of the day, which is a pizza challenge in Northampton. And you, you know what they say. If you can do it twice daily, without moaning or failing, then, and only then, you'll be a man, my son. What? I'll put that in my book of inspirational quotes. <laughs> craving a little bit of something salty. I don't really like eating just sweet stuff. In one day I have a weird thing about that. So hopefully it's gonna be delicious. Hopefully I can do it, but you gotta do it in 20 minutes. It's gonna be tough. All right, today I'm at a place called Bronx Kitchen, which is just out of Northampton. Famous for their pizzas, and they do this giant 20 inch pizza challenge, which you have to finish in, in 20 minutes, right? Yes, so you get a bottle of booze, uh, you get- A bottle of booze, like, what, like that big? That big. Massive bottle. Don't open it here because the staff have a tendency to. <laughs> um, uh, you get your name on a wall of fame. If you complete it, then it's on the house. Right, so without further ado, it's a bit of soon. This is, um, yeah, the uh, Bronx Kitchen. I'm feeling a bit hazy now. I did, the, I did a big Sunday earlier on, so I'm not on it. It's a big pizza challenge. Three, two, one, go. All right, here we go. It's true. Ah, what's up, we Welcome back to another episode. This is part two in the little mini trip down to Cambridgeshire. And uh, yeah, we're at Bronx Kitchen taking on their giant pizza challenge. It costs 25 quid, but if you finish it inside 20 minutes, it's on the house. That's what I got the sauce for. Do people usually start off good like this and then yeah, just, uh, yeah. slow down? They've not usually done half by now. <laughs> That's a technique. I'm really enjoying that. Pizza sandwich. I've had people roll on there. I've done a sauce based stuff. Someone scraped all the toppings off the meat and that and then the bread. <laughs> what a monster! <laughs> Scrape the toppings off? What kind of brute would do such a thing? I should apologise about the, uh, the sound too. I'm sorry. It's, this place is just basically a tin shed. Good pizza though. Thick, but good. We should have got them to do you a 20-inch garlic bread. It's not really funny. Oh. I felt like one slice, just maybe two slices. I don't know who Mrs. Beard is trying to kid. This is coming from a woman who spent almost £1,000, like 920 quid in one calendar year on takeaway garlic bread. No lie. Normally, it's a bad idea leaving crust at the end, right? But I just want to make sure that I do most of it reasonably quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I also want to make it back to the, uh, the Spain Poland game. That's at 8 o'clock, man. I know, such a consummate professional. Don't worry, I, I did make it back to the Spain Poland game. You're doing a free foot by free with pizza challenge. That's a full, that's a full person one. I was going to say, is that for one person? Uh, Tag team, squad of four. Squad of four. Squad of four, 30 minutes. If you could do like a quarter of it in Cali, you'd probably be on that squad. Yeah, I had no idea that they offered a, a three foot team pizza challenge. That's pretty cool. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments. I'll have to put together some kind of Avengers style super team, but I don't know. I, I'm sure I could make it happen. Someone tried to challenge and they had pizza sauces in the kitchen. <coughs> oh, seriously? Yeah, we found the kitchen with pizza sauces in three days later. <laughs> <laughs> we publicly humiliated them on Facebook. They got all ripped for it. Oh man, I bet it was stinking after a few days too. 
because it was smell. No, a customer went, um, I think there's pizza in this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, cheating at a food challenge, the indignity. I suppose that explains why the, the owner was watching me like a hawk <laughs> the whole time. That doesn't, doesn't usually happen. Points for ingenuity though, stuffing it into a cushion. I never would have thought of that. I suppose that gives a uh, new meaning to the phrase stuffed crust. <laughs> Dad joke. Anyway, we're getting towards the end now. And I think in about two minutes or so, the owner tells me that the record is 14 minutes 20. And I, I don't really care about, you know, food challenge records. It's all just a laugh to me. But I thought if we're close, let's put a rush on and see if we can get it down. Oh, what fun, huh? <laughs> Been a record of like two seconds. <laughs> that was all right, you know. Like, I almost didn't get it. I was telling you to stop talking and start eating quicker because you were just there like that. Yeah, but nobody cares about food challenge records. I'm just, I'm pretty excited that I did two in a day, and I don't actually feel terrible. I'm so proud. <laughs> Might be getting back to optimum, optimum levels. Nah, I'm not. <laughs> Should I get you in the mood? <laughs>